Heading back to Tocqueville flighted, a lack of two brother is sighted. Because this girl whose name's a fruit wears the only hammer suit, she beckons him to come towards her and requests that he records her, showing off the suit and shoes. How could he possibly refuse? She insists that he bring more of his brothers, at least four. He's then ordered by the lass to meet at Double Cherry Pass. Once the lack of twos arrive, they see hammer peace times five. Two say is unnecessary, but she used the double cherry, so that each one of the gals gets filmed in diverse locales. Lots of footage in no time. They all pick spots so it's showtime. Although widely placed at random, the clones can only act in tandem with what First Peach does and thinks, as if under a heavy jinx. Real Peach dressed with grace and luck. The clones get their high heels stuck. Thankfully, the shoes have strength and become unstuck at length. Besides striking pose after pose, Peach does harmless hammer throws. The doubles follow suit, of course, though not as safely as their source. Peach's friend from another game gave her awesome shoes their name. For that and helping with these tricks, she picks up packs with puckers and pecks. The clones kiss air or facsimiles, or should one say some packsimiles. When done modeling what she's wearing, they all go back for note comparing. The ones who take the clones confess they didn't have as much finesse. Peach just giggles like a sport. She minds not if they fell short. Long as they perform like troopers, it'll be fun to see some bloopers. But since she still wants to roam, she will send her copies home to thank those who say Mamma Mia for the keeping the suit idea. To counter trouble or display, she used it nicely either way.